process in which two gametes, or sex cells, meet and fuse together. So what we're going to do today is we're going to think a bit more about the human reproductive system. So we're going to put this idea of fertilization in context of humans, um, and we're going to think about the different parts of the human reproductive system, the different organs that work together to kind of enable this fertilization process in humans. Okay? That will mean that then next session we'll be able to talk a little bit more about that fertilization process in humans uh, in more detail, and then we can move on to think about things like pregnancy and birth. This is a topic, obviously, that's really important because it's something that's relevant to all of us, um, and it's something that, as you get older, you need to be informed about um, as part of your kind of keeping yourself healthy and keeping yourself safe. So it's a really important topic that we're doing today. So what I would like for you to do is, firstly, can we put today's date on the front if we have done so already? It is the fifth of... And then, once you have written the date, you are going to turn back to where we were um, in our booklet, just below the retrieval practice, and then we're going to have a look at some diagrams. seriously and really scientifically, and we're not going to have any soon. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take a really good look at some diagrams which are going to show us the different organs involved in the uh, human reproductive system. Now obviously that's going to take two um, kind of parts, because we're going to have to look at the male one and then the female one as well, because it's no point just looking at the one. Right, whatever's in your hand needs to go out of your hand. So, um, what we'll do is we'll start with the male one, um, and we'll talk about some of the parts that are involved, some of the organs, um, and we'll also practice saying them so that hopefully you can kind of get over our kind of um, any sort of silliness that we might have. So can we get our rulers ready, and we'll just track through this little bit of text together so that we can make sure that we know what we are talking about. So rulers onto the page. We're looking at a little bit of text just above the diagram there. Have you got a ruler, right? Okay, here we go. So, reproduction is one of the seven life processes. There are many ways in which organisms reproduce. One of these is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the fusing of two gametes, which are sex cells. Humans use sexual reproduction to produce their young. To do this, two parents, a male and a female, have different organs and different reproductive systems to produce the two gametes. So the first one we're going to look at is the male reproductive system. Um, you can now um, either look at the diagram on your page or on the board, I'm not, I'm not too bothered. Um, and we'll start with the male one. Now, the first thing that we're going to note on the diagram is the bladder, which is right at the top. Okay. The reason I'm drawing your attention to the bladder is because the bladder is a bit of a weird one on this diagram because it's not really involved in the reproductive system. Okay? The bladder is where urine collects um, before urine kind of leaves the body, um, but it's not part of the reproductive system. Just because it's in the same area doesn't mean it's uh, kind of part of that system, but it is on our diagram because it's kind of linked to stuff that we will be talking about. Can anybody suggest to me what system would the bladder be part of if it's not part of the reproductive system? Let me go. The urinary system, absolutely, it's just part of the urinary system, um, and it's evolved in excretion as a kind of um, one of our seven life processes rather than just reproduction. So, um, we'll start on our diagram by thinking about the testes, which are on your diagram just here, of which there are two. Um, now, the testes are where the male sex cell is produced. The male sex cell is produced. Hey, can you remind me, what is the male sex cell? Sperm. 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 Sperm.
sperm, very good. So sperm, the male sex cell, is produced in the testes, um, and also produced in the male cell, in the testes is a substance um, called hormone or hormones, um, and what they are also responsible for is controlling kind of some of the changes that happen in the body um, at a certain time in someone's life. And we're going to talk a bit more about those um, in the future. 